Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozzuolo from Kurva.com and today is time again for another DAX Fridays. And uh, today's video I think is actually quite cool, if I may say so. I am going to show you a DAX function that is new for 2017, I don't know exactly when it was released. But uh, the function is called error and what error does is actually it allows you to create your own error messages in DAX. Do you know when you create a DAX uh, measure and you know you do something wrong or something that you shouldn't do and then you get these um, very cryptic error messages well with this function you will be able to create your own cryptic error messages or hopefully a better one that's up to you but I'm going to show you how the measure works okay so let's stay tuned so here we are in Power BI and I am actually using the file for um, hierarchies, but don't worry, you will be able to download this file on the description box. And what I have here is just a, a list with level one, level two, uh, level three. And um, what we want to do, just imagine, I know that perhaps the case is not the best, but uh, Imagine that we want to do a count on level two, level two, sorry, and um, we wanted to do it, but not when L pack is selected, because for some reason on the data source, it is uh, double counted, or I don't know, imagine it. Let's imagine that. So we say, okay, we will do a count, but the user is not allowed to use LPAC because we know that they will get either a wrong um, count or, or it's just simply, you know, they'll get an error because there is wrong formatted or oh, it could be anything. So how do we do that? This is really cool, actually. So we go here, new measure as usual. We're going to call it error and um, we are going to do if selected, if you don't know what selected value is, I have a video on that on DAX Friday, so make sure you check it out. If selected value is uh, level one, level two, we said. Uh, is equal to so if the selected value or if this value is being selected pack then we're going to throw an error and the function is actually quite simple error and then you put the error text it, it basically says it here so you just say, okay, the error will be, I don't know, let's do something that is not as cryptic as the ones that we normally get. Is not allowed uh, for these, ouch, for this calculation uh, because it has invalid uh, value. So we tell the user why they are getting the error and then we tell them what they need to do to remove the error and we say please unselect it unselect it so so this is our error and if it's not selected then we want you actually to do a count on level oh, what's with me today level two so let's try it. We go in here, we put the error, and this can display the visual. We've seen this probably a thousand times. But now, this is your error message. So here it says uh, calculation error message uh, L pack is not allowed for this calculation because it has invalid values. Please unselect it. Let's be very picky. I think you should have like that. Okay, so if we unselect it, we get the count. If we don't, we get our beautiful, beautiful error message. 
cool, huh? I think it's really cool. So we will be able to use this function for all kinds of things that will help our users make the right decisions when they are actually, you know, using the measures. If there is something that we want them to prevent it to do, now we have the option to do it. So it's quite cool. At least we can explain why they are getting errors or why they are getting off, whatever it could be. So I hope you find this um, tutorial useful. So the end of the Tax Friday video for some of you means that you are already going home or on your way home or close to go home. Uh, for those of you that started the day, I hope that this video helps you start it in a good mood. If you like this trick, let me know by liking it or share it with somebody that you think that they should know it. If you're new to the channel, I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and Fridays, always dedicated to DAX. And um, yeah, if you su subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos. So have a fantastic weekend. Bye.